Hey, welcome back to the superior game in the trilogy. Uh, no technical issues on this end. Especially not a microphone not working thanks to Windows Update doing stuff. No sir, Windows Update is a flawless process that doesn't mess around with your settings in the slightest. <laughs> welcome to the stream, hi. Thanks for clicking if you're watching later on YouTube. Good lord. I'm glad I realized that pretty quickly. Okay, um, hey Colrun, how's it going? <laughs> Alright, I'm buying the mirror off the bear. Yeah, say something, if, if it's something out of character, but it's okay, I realized quickly. Because I, I was looking at the, uh, the volume meter for a sec, because I noticed like a, a jump in the audio. I just gotta assume that something's gonna go wrong when Windows Update does something. I should just go with that every time. Anyway, this has been, um, pretty laid back. Not life in general, but I mean... <laughs> the... The playthrough. But that being said, um, yeah. I think we've arrived at the part where things get a little bit tricky to say the least. Particularly because of these things. Oh boy. We'll see how I go. These are the enemies I was talking about when playing Donkey Kong Country 2 as like the thing that would present its own set of issues. How's Friday? Busy. Busy, 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 but I'm glad the weekend is here. Alright. Surprisingly did not mess that up. These are the enemies I've been dreading, like, I, this stage brings back memories, just... It can be tricky. Okay, not the rats, these these things. I think I just messed up. Maybe. No, it's just that. Especially when you're you're playing this this kid. It can be a little stressful. Good. I have him at least. This is... This can be annoying. Yeah. Gotta get it right, and then roll! Ugh, damn it. A little quicker, a little quicker. This is the most annoying DK coin in the game. Because you gotta be... Whoops. It's okay. It's like such a precise thing you have to do. There we go. If I had Dixie, I, I probably wouldn't have been able to do it. <laughs> it's so annoying as Dixie. But, okay. One of the few times you're glad you're this, this one. Oh, I thought I messed it up. I should have just gone. Oh shit. Okay. The stage is something else. I can't remember what the second bonus stage is. This is going to be one of these things that, once I get up to it, I'll know. Just... memory will kick in. 
shit. What, why do I get the feeling it's like between these two bees? No? Okay. I had to try. Okay, I'll have to redo it. I'll have to look for the second stage. It's okay. At least I know where it's not. Ah! Oh. I clipped the side of that. Uh, okay. Yeah. So the way I remember playing this is like, instead of doing the, the intended next world, I jump straight to the difficult world because then I don't have to see the ending twice, if I'm not mistaken. Any plans for the weekend? Uh, catching up with a friend a bit later today, or tonight I should say. Just gonna play some Diablo. Uh, but tomorrow... Mm, don't think I'm doing anything. That's about it. I kind of had to, uh, take a nap before streaming. I just did not sleep much because there was a, another earthquake in Melbourne. It was like a 2 in the morning, woke me up, and then just getting back to sleep was a bit rough. So, I was like... Oof, struggling today at work. But I got through it. And then, yeah, once work was done, I just fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> You've never experienced an earthquake. Yeah, I mean, the ones we get here, they're not, you know, cataclysmic by any means. Um, I mean, if you're really unlucky, they can cause, a, like, some cracks in your walls, maybe. But other than that, nothing extremely dangerous. Um, but, you know, it just starts off as, like, this thing where it just feels like... Um, like, if you're sitting in a chair, it feels like your chair's moving for a minute, and then the walls start rattling, and then it's just like, da 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 And then, I mean, it's over, for the most part. But you just suddenly just feel this weird thing, like, what the heck is that? And then, yeah, it becomes more apparent a few seconds later. But this one was loud enough to wake me. The walls rattled enough that, yeah. It's like, ah, uh, fuck. At least, I... Whilst I've never experienced a big one, at least I know... Okay, it's better to have experienced a little one because then you have some sort of foundation when one's gonna happen. So if you're somewhere where something catastrophic can happen from an earthquake, then at least, you know, you know, oh shit, this is an earthquake. So you know to respond accordingly, right? Versus never having experienced one and then you're like, what is this? And then you don't react quickly. Like, I have some, some foundation. 
It might not be a very good one, but at least like I can I can feel it out and be like, oh shit, okay, this is this is what it is. But yeah, I mean, when you're in, it's kind of scary when you're asleep and you get waking up that way. It's like you have a choice of shit: do I react or do I not react? But yeah, I reacted this quickly on the the nearest safest thing. You've experienced with floods, water damage is bad. Yeah, I've, I uh, have experienced floods as well. The one thing that I don't think I could ever experience here, just because we don't get them where I am specifically, is like tornadoes. Along the northern coast of Australia, you do get cyclones. Oh my god, it caught up. But yeah, like I, I don't live anywhere near that. Oh, fire. Fire is the other thing. Like, hey, every Australian's prepared for that one. Doesn't matter where you are in the country, <laughs> you'll know. Don't fuck with fire. I haven't found a stupid bonus level. I'm dying a lot as well. <sighs> These barrels. I did well on clearing the stage. I'm just trying to... I guess because I'm not just running away from him, I'm trying to see if there's something hidden. That's what's messing me up a little. Something along those lines, like there's... It's just the, the vaguest of memories. Oh, this thing's gonna catch up. Oh! It's, like, it's, it's slightly faster than you, so they do catch up. What? I didn't find it again. Fuck. Okay, where is this thing? What's the name of the stage? I'm not looking for it. <laughs> Crevice Creepers. Crevice... Creepers bonus. Alright, where is it? This, I'm after the second one. One of them is obvious. Shortly after the K. No, I got that one. So shortly after the N. Yeah! Ugh, man, I read it. It's it's exactly what I was trying, I just did it in the wrong spot. Okay. I was right. It's what I tried um, when I was clearing the level the first time. It's exactly what I tried. I knew, like, it was just... In a child, just going, it's over here, man. Come on. But just in the wrong spot. Okay. Well, that makes me feel a bit better. That's exactly what I tried, I just did it wrong. I did it to the left instead of the right. Ah, oh, fuck. It's okay, I can try again. It's not hard. I thought there was one more rope. 
Oh, shit. Maybe I can't try again easily. No. Okay. But at least I know where it is. Oh. Okay, I got confused where I was. I should have kept going forward. Okay, I know. I got a frame of reference now. Lux Kong, please. Thank you. She's just more agile. Ah! <laughs> I mean, she is. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I have to. I have to do this. Okay, it's a bit more forward. <sighs> Alright. It's okay. I know where it is. I can just keep pressing start and select until I get it. I can't believe how close I was. <laughs> I had the right idea, I just did it in the wrong spot. Yeah, fuck that. That's how you do that. Okay, we can leave now. Next! Tear, tear, tear away toboggan. I almost said tyranny toboggan. Just making sure. How evil is that? It doesn't just let you start the stage, you gotta overcome that. Well, that's, uh, yep, that's a start right there. Challenge the player. Ah, it's fine. Whoops. <laughs> Completely forgot about this. Honestly, wonder how it would go if, let's say, this was the game I hadn't played yet. You know, I feel like this is going well because this is a lot of it is just muscle memory from childhood. Like, it's not frustrating me at all. Whereas in the second one, it very quickly got to the point where I was struggling. Whereas in here, like, we're pretty far in and it's it's fine. I've always sucked at these kind of levels, so it's fine. Like, oh, that was the luckiest of um, recoveries. Jeez. I would have hated it. I don't think so. I think this game gets too much shit. That might be coming through nostalgia goggles. It's like, I, I, I can recognize the flaws of it, I do. But th there are some positives. I think the, the TNT barrels would be the part that would tilt me the most. And to be honest, I'm surprised I got through that previous stage so quickly. Because that, that's the stage that I remember just taking the longest. There's another one where you have to climb this rope, um, and it's just as bad. But we'll see how I go when I get to it. I don't think it's in this world. Whoops.
Oh, that was lucky. <sighs> that one's hard. It's alright. You kind of have to do your jump early. Yeah, I, I still don't believe if I would have gr grown up with the other two, I would get hate for this one. I don't believe that. Because at the end of the day, it's still Donkey Kong. Fundamentally, it is. I think this one gets too much hate. Okay, they both they both instantly died. Okay, like take shit. There are games that are better than this that I, I have disliked. I'm a bit weird. Or at least not disliked, but just had sections where I'm like, oh no, this is... This, I, I don't like this. Like, okay, I liked Banjo-Kazooie overall, but there were some parts of that game where I'm like, oh no, this is annoying. This is just this... This is just this thing that is held up by nostalgia, but like, by modern standards, man. I'm speaking about that, that... Oh, fuck! Um, that quiz. The quiz part. It's just like, oh, I have to remember every minutia of the game, and some of that is like, quite clearly no one's gonna get this correctly. So it's just delaying the player for 40 minutes to an hour. Oh, so much fun. I did not have fun with that. Some of the questions were just so specifically insane. Whilst not a question, it was along the lines of, Hey, in this stage, how many rocks were there here? I'm just gonna finish the stage and then just keep trying to get that. That's how we do- it. Oh, shit. I don't think I got another chance for it. Oh, I do. Cool. Alright. Well, I just have to get the bonus stage now. I mean, I don't think it's anything specific to do with this stage, like... It's just... Donkey Kong platforming in general. Like, that's the case with any stage. Sometimes you do get these situations that's just like, oh, guess I'm dead. I don't know why I'm doing this again. That's one of those things that if you're not used to or haven't played these games, it would frustrate you more than it should. So that's why I stand firm on like... Even if I would have had the other, other two, I still would not find this annoying because it's just like, yeah, it's just Donkey Kong Country. They're not exactly the most accurate of platforming games. Like, there were some stages in 2 where it was so hard to tell what was ground and what wasn't. The swamp stages, in particular. Or like in stick- uh, I don't know the names, but you know, the, the thorny levels. There are circumstances where I feel like, okay, I should have cleared that, but didn't, so... There's a bit of- there's a bit of that in every one of the games. 
I don't think it's a fault of this one. Again, people are too critical. I don't know. It's just when you want to hate on something, you find reasons to hate. When you know it's pretty consistent <laughs> with the experience in the other games. Sometimes you do get these levels. I think it's just this character in particular. I think that's why people hate this game ultimately. Whether they want to admit it or not, this is a dumb looking character. And it should have been Donkey Kong and Dixie, ultimately. It would have done better. I think that's purely the reason and then it's just... It's a lot easier to start hating on something when you're already iffy about it in the first place. It's okay, like, even growing up, I, I really did not like the baby. I get it. There's a reason he hasn't appeared in another game since. I need to be quicker at the trigger when I'm, I'm about to die. I will say that the way to get that last bonus stage, you pretty much have to take a hit from that B. Doing that jump is extremely hard. Because you're just conditioned to jump when you see a roof. Otherwise, you lose both characters. <laughs> Fuck that jump! <laughs> I feel like I'm doing it too late, so it pushes me too forward. for a sec. Okay, there we go. Now life is good. It's very different to other stages that are considered minecart type stages, where if you take a hit you can recover. That is just like, you hit the roof wrong and you just lose immediately. I wonder if they, damn it, made a genuine attempt to fix it, you know? And then we're like, nah, this is too hard, fuck it. <laughs> just insta-death. I can try as many times as I need now. Whoops. Ah. That's what I needed to do. Huh? 
Ugh, good, I didn't get tricked. <laughs> Alright, we're fine. Now I can just leave. No problem. Uh, barrel drop bounce. What stage is this one? Oh, okay. No, this is fine. it is. Alright. So you have to slow roll it. Walk it along and uh. Oops. Is there anything here? I can't remember. Yep. This is one of the harder bonus stages. Because you gotta hope it doesn't go too close to the bottom. Ugh. Stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just. <laughs> okay. Close one. I can't remember if this is necessary. I might be overcomplicating shit. Ah, oh, yeah, I am. Okay. Had to check. if that was anything significant. I'll be able to find out. Shit. That makes this harder now. jump off it. If I had Dixie, it'd be easier. There we go.
Should be close to the end. Ah, shit. I can't remember if that's important. I haven't found the other bonus stage, so that's something. Is this going to be something? Hang on. Oh. I don't think this is... <laughs> I'll just come back into it. It's fine. I don't remember what this other bonus stage is. I got the feeling it's further back. Or maybe covered up by that bird. Who knows? Uh, no, with no one near a save area yet. Yeah, see, that's what we do. <laughs> Free exploration without any consequence. I saw two bananas here, what were they for? Nothing, I guess. Ah! No, start again. <laughs> Just her ability is too invaluable here. <laughs> too slow. Surely there's a DK barrel somewhere. I heard it. What? That is quite clearly something. Yeah, there's a platform over there. This was the one. I just didn't have her at this point, so. Alright, cool. Done. Crack shot croc. Oh. 
Wow. That was check corners. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the cheese and bacon Cheeto shooter. for that. DK barrel, please. Stingy on the DK barrel. For some reason, I remember one of these having like a false top. Maybe I'm wrong. found a bonus stage yet, so that's a little discouraging. Oh shit. Oh, damn it. It's an awkward net web. I'm not sure that was worth it. I thought that was a bonus stage. <laughs> nice hitbox. That was not worth it. Oh shit. Whoops. Oh well. doing that again. Yeah, this is a weird bonus stage. We have to play- somehow get taken control of this. Just no explanation for it. It's just- oh no, you're- you're- you're the one shooting now. <laughs> it's 
so weird. I mean, it's a nice break from being shot at, that's for sure. What is that? Just bananas. No target. Haha. <laughs> no more shoot. This is a one shot deal. There we go. I only found one bonus stage. It's kind of concerning. All right. Still no safe point. <laughs> it's it's got to be somewhere near the start. Because the one I found is pretty much at the end, so... I swear one of them was going to one of these like this. I swear it was. But maybe I'm not remembering correctly. I was trying all of them as I went. Oh, it's here. Got it. Alright. Nice and easy one. Nice and relaxing. Okay. Well, I'm going something. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Did it without messing up. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> I forgot about these things. You wanna talk about bad hitboxes? Oh boy. Had to be a snow stage. Particularly when they come out of this thing, that's the worst. That was easy. Yeah, this this shit here, this this sucks. It's such an annoying jump to have to do. Kind of lucked out there. Shit. <laughs> Fell short. That wasn't intentional. Oh. 
What are... Ugh, I feel like in one of them you have to actually follow them into the abyss. No, it's this. All right. That's fine. Got sniped. I was half expecting to take a hit and lose. Alright, cool. Deluxe Kong victory. Not. Huh, okay. Thought there might be something there. Wait a minute, how do you get to the safe cave? Oh shit, I could have gone there the whole time. Blizzard's base camp. My word, how on earth did you find me here? Well, never mind about that. My name's Blizzard. I've been up here for weeks getting ready to my attempt to conquer K3. It looks like I'm going to be miss my friend's blues birthday. Say, you do me a favor, Kongs. It's no problem. That's great. Could you take him this present for me, please? I'd be ever so grateful. Okay. <laughs> I love this boss just because it's dumb. But, like, I saw this as, as Danny DeVito as, like, a... a uh, you know how he played the penguin in, Bat in Batman, but also just, you know, he's now a snowman. Snowman, penguin, Danny DeVito. That's how I saw it as a kid. Because, um, the movie Twins used to be on quite a bit on TV. So, you know, did see quite a bit of him in movies. Tent is preparing for this boss in particular. Ah, damn it, that was it. I just needed to survive that last hit. <sighs> Almost had it. Damn you, Danny DeVito. Just, just got me. I just didn't react quick enough. On the way down. Okay, even if I take a hit. <laughs> I love the way he dies. Hey, you did it. 
Okay, we gotta do some fetch quest stuff. A present for me? Oh, thank you, Kongs. You've really made my day. Let's have a look inside. Oh, it's a bowling ball. Well, it's far too heavy for me. I know. Why don't you have it, Kongs? <laughs> it's so dumb. It's just like, oh, this present. Uh, nah, fuck that. It's, it's no good. You can have it. Ugh, just so unappreciative. Anyway. I have a lot of old artillery, you know, but Bessie's my favorite. What a noise. What have you got there, Kongs? A heavy ball? Well, you never know. It might just work. Shall we load Big Bessie up and fire her? Lock and load, sir. Okay, let me give it a go. Ready? Aim. Sky High Secret! Bayabex. I just found it easy just to make a word with whatever they were, uh... They were trying to get you to do instead of trying to remember the colors. Okay, that's done. Hang on, need to run up. Well, good day to you, Kongs. How are you? Name's Barter. Whoops. You see me at Washers? That posing funky fella has been acting a bit weird lately. I'd swear he'd been working on some super secret project, but I reckon it's just a silly pipe dream. Grubby? Well, my hands might be a bit dirty, but... How do I know you're not lying about my face? Is that a mirror? If it is, could I possibly borrow it? Why, certainly. Hey, thanks for that, Kongs. Oh no, look at the state of me. I'm a wreck. Take this wrench. I don't need it now. Getting there. Now we deliver it to the bodacious Funky Kong. Hey, someone's told you I've been extra busy lately. Well, it's a bit something special. If you can find all the DK coins, then you can put them down as a deposit on my ultimate ride. Come back here when you've got more. Oh, I'll keep you informed about how close you are to the jackpot. Wasn't it him? Maybe it wasn't him. Hang on. Maybe because I thought he needed a wrench, or was it you? Bramble? No, Bramble's the flower. So hang on. I think I'm up to date then, because I got the present for blue, then took the cannonball to the Sarge, traded the mirror for the wrench, and from here we got the present, so I guess I'm up to date then. Alright. Razor Ridge. Yeah, this dude needs the wrench. He needs to repair the, the forklift. I mean, not the forklift, the, the lift up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. I got this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm on top of things. Yeah, 
Yeah, these dudes, oh boy. That means the rope level that I was talking about is in this world. <laughs> uh, we'll see how that goes. That's another one I, I think I'm going to struggle, but you never know. It could go well. Shit. Yeah, I needed it. <sighs> go back. <laughs> ah, come on. I got through it the first time. Well, I may have slightly overcomplicated this. Just, just a tad. Okay. A for effort. That wouldn't be the first time. Yeah, but that's the thing with games is sometimes there are things in this game that involve that sort of thing. It's not like I, I'm completely wrong to do that. It, you should be doing that. It's just in this case, it's like, ha 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 ha, joke's on you. But I'm not going to change who I am. <laughs> at least it's amusing to see it when it happens. So I'll, I'll, I'll laugh at it. I don't think I can take the barrel down anyway. For some reason, just because of the bird's color scheme, I kind of associated him a little bit with um, Toucan Sam. Just want to eat, eat cereal. I know, like the color, the nose is wrong, but, or the beak. But it's just something I, I saw as a kid. That's nah, close enough. barrel. I think I know what it's gonna get me to do. Yeah, okay. Oops, too high. Spawned. <laughs> That's a little tricky. There we go. Nice and gentle like. The 
there's still one more bonus stage, if I'm not mistaken. Whoops. Oh. Well. That's fine. I'm gonna, yeah, that's gonna happen a lot. Oh shit. I thought this was like a secret area, it's not. It's actually the way forward. the needle <laughs> shit I got stuck oh well That was the first death, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot that it's just a trash can lid. It looks like a fancy shield and then you see, oh no way, it's just a trash can. Ah, uh, just go down. Iframes. It's funny how I get things the first time and then when I come back to them, it just doesn't work. <laughs> There's a bonus stage there, I need... There's a bonus stage here. Alright, I'm gonna die. But I need a, I need a throw, yeah. Shit. I could've finished the stage, just... I think it's, at this point it's easier to just do that, because otherwise I have to go through the first half of the stage again. That's a bit of a shame. Mind the stage. Yeah. 
Yeah, I messed up. At least the lives are plentiful. Like I'm not finding myself struggling. I just need to make sure I hang on to both. From this point forward. Just gotta be careful. Oh. Now come on, it's here. Careful. Wait a minute. I can just do that. Ah. Oh. Okay. I forgot you can jump on these things. Do kids in Australia do lemonade stands? Uh, I have no idea. I say that because it's, I guess it just depends on your childhood. For fuck's sake. Like, there's some things that I never did as a kid, but yet, uh, there are Aussie kids that do it. Would not be able to reliably tell you that. Did I do it as a kid? No. Did I know anyone that did it? No. <laughs> That being said, I don't think anyone... I'm not sure if, uh... I mean, that doesn't mean no one did it. I mean, the one thing that does happen, and it's kind of- I, I don't think it's good. But, uh, they have like a- I guess it's called like a chocolate drive. And the way it works is like, uh, larger companies, so like, particularly a chocolate manufacturer called Cadbury. And I think they're like owned by Pepsi. 
ultimately, but, you know, they, they make Mars bars. Um, they approach schools and they're like, hey, have your kids go sell chocolates that are, like, ridiculously inflated in price. And, you know, we'll give them these prizes if, if they sell X amount. And, um, the school gets, like, a, a small cut of it, but ultimately they're making more of the profit. It's just, it's so shit. And you always have that social pressure of, like, the one... The one person at a workplace that turns up with their kid's chocolate drive, and it's just like, ugh. If the proceeds went 100% to the school, I'd be like, that's fine. But this is just, like, such a super corporate thing. It's just like, man, nah. This one's kind of annoying to get. Cadbury are owned by Kraft. There you go. Yeah. I mean, both, you know, corporate at the end of the day. Cadbury is by no means a, like, tiny company. But yeah, it's, it's just a thing. That's, that's what kids are doing more often than not in terms of money raising things. Two things I kind of wish they would abolish here is, like, that, like, don't allow that in schools. And also, um, work experience. I think it's bullshit. It's like, oh, yeah, we're gonna give, um, your child experience at a workplace, and we'll pay them $5.50 a day for the pleasure at working at a place like Kmart. It's just, that it, it's... <laughs> It's like socially accepted child labor. It, it sucks. It's like, how about you pay the kid? If if it's a really an indication of you know the work life, how about you pay the kid what the minimum wage would be? So then they're like, okay, this is how much money I would make in a week, and now I can learn to budget that money. But instead, they get given five dollars fifty a day, which is no no representation of real life. And they kind of just do random jobs anyway. It's not like. Yeah, I think work experience is such a stupid system. It's good for places like Kmart, McDonald's, just... Those places where kids end up working anyway, they just get like... It's like an intern, but it's, it's worse than an internship, because an internship, typically you do it at a place you aspire to be at, or at least aspire to be in that field. Whereas in this, this is a compulsory thing that's just like, most of you are going to end up at like a, a place like Kmart or, McD or some fast food place. Or what most kids do, like where I was growing up, is they'd go to their uncle, hey, sign this form and then do nothing. Their uncle who was like a, you know, a carpenter or a, or a cement layer. Wait, did you fix the chairlifts? Hold on, let's go back. I think there was a dialogue option to fix it. I should have done it. Intern- I- like, internships, don't get me wrong, I still think that they're a little fundamentally evil. But at the very least, it's typically... You're doing an internship at a place where you sort of aspire to get a job at, or you want to be in that field, ultimately. So, it's just... Hmm. I guess it's at the next one, maybe. I think we can go up and then he fixes it. Anyway. Internships are getting harder to get in Australia. Because the universities are, like, trying to... They're making it a much more of a process than it used to be. It used to be up to the student to kind of approach a company and be like, yo, I want to do an internship here. And this is the level I was dreading, by the way, but we'll see how we go. Um, but now it's kind of like you have to organize it through the university. You have to tell the university where they go where you're going. And then um, the place that you want to go do the internship at, they have to, you know, effectively fill in shit with the university and be on their contact list. And also fill out insurance form. Just a whole bunch of red tape where 
at the end of the day, the reason they're doing that is just because they want, you know, a contact at a company that they can pester, pretty much. And all it's caused is a bunch of companies are like, nah, I'm not, I'm not like dedicating all these resources just so this person can come work for me. So, good job, universities. Yeah, it was one of those things that, like, I've heard people that are in the position that, you know, they can arrange internships. Lately, they've done it once and then they don't do it again because they just keep getting pestered by the universities. Hey, come to our industry night. Hey. Hey, hey. Just all these emails. And phone calls. Yeah, I remembered correctly. <laughs> oh, I don't like this one. Because you have to kind of wait until the camera pans a little. <laughs> okay, it's done. The stage is annoying because if you're stuck with Kitty Kong, he has such a massive hitbox. And it's just, if you turn around at the wrong time, you, you, you're screwed. And it's not like you can't- you can swap on the rope, you know? It's like- look at- look at that! <laughs> Honestly, I'll- I will be very surprised if I get through this in a- in a few lives. I miss the O. Oh well. No, I make it look easy, but that was, trust me, I was clenching the whole way there. I hate this one. One of them is going to be like a double fake out. Oh no, okay, I was wrong. Because I'm going to have to do that quite a bit, turn, with this. Oh, oh I hate this, I hate this, I hate this. Yep, that! The, uh, yeah. The room for error on that one is very small. Good work. Was was that worth was that worth all that effort? That just goes to the bonus stage, I'm fine. This is correct. Ah, oh, it's a Ugh, damn it. You know, 
even though I say this is this is tricky, it, I'm still doing better than what I did in Donkey Kong Country 2. It's just, at the end of the day, yeah, childhood memory of this uh, this stage is correct. It's just I'm still gonna do better than Donkey Kong Country 2. I, st I just will. Man, she's just so much better to maneuver with. Wow, oh, too slow. It's okay. I won't do that again. I'll just go up. Oh, almost did it again. Okay, keep climbing and ignore that, ignore that, ignore that. Keep climbing, keep climbing. Yeah, it's a tricky one to do. Because you can get it despawn. Okay. Got your wrench. Oh, hello. How are you, my fine fairy Kongs? I am Bjorn, Benny's brother. I'm afraid that my chairlift is broken. I lent my number six wrench to someone and they didn't return it to me. Hey, you found my wrench. Could I have it back? Thank you, Top Kongs. You may use my ski lift for free from now on. <laughs> Just explosion caused. Okay. to write these down like one of us would be taking notes okay write it down flood lit fi oh no yeah oh boy um avert your eyes i think this is about to do the same thing it's time to flashbang oh maybe not i honestly forget how this works Oh, yeah. There we go. Yep, I remember. Weird mechanic again, just poking a fish in the mouth illuminates the area. navigate this a little. Just to make sure I get the bonus stage. Okay. 
Shit, that was bad. I quite literally walked into that one. Decay barrel. Ah, I didn't get the checkpoint, did I? Yeah, start again. All right, it's fine. Shot it. <laughs> I just do that again. What is wrong with me? Ah, oh. that should not have happened. We're nearly at the end of this world, anyway. So, I mean, yeah, I'm kind of on track for just doing one more stream of this, I think, because all that's left is the final world and the lost world. I'm not sure if this is longer than two or about the same. I mean, overall, it's definitely going to be a shorter playthrough, like, in terms of time spent. But that doesn't mean there's less to do. What's next to play? I'm probably going to double down on efforts to finish Zelda. I need to, I need to get Zelda done. And then we'll see. I haven't quite made up my mind. I almost did it again. Okay, that was fine. I don't know, <laughs> I'm being cocky by doing that, but I never found that part a challenge. It was always just, why, why don't I just kill them like that? My husband asked you if you were done with the game yet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, depending on how much you want to do. Being done with, like, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild, it's, it's, it's an endeavor.
bit. We'll see, we'll see what I'm feeling. It's pretty much just gonna go off what I'm feeling at the time. There's something underneath here, isn't there? No? Okay. It's sad that you can't have full heart and full stamina, so you're sitting at 32 and can't decide what to do. I mean... I believe health is the better thing to have. It's just me. Like, one extra stamina will, I think, is more than enough. Because you... I mean... It's pretty much just a convenience to climb, but the thing with this game is there's a lot of things that you can just make climbing a bit redundant. I mean, they did it in Breath of the Wild as well, so it's just... It's disappointing, but I still... It's still within what they did anyway. Okay. I'm gonna have to come back here, I didn't get the other bonus stage. I have no idea where I could have missed it. I just keep getting away with it. Just, yep. These hitboxes... They can be a curse, but they can also be something you can take advantage of. It just... Take something out that you wouldn't otherwise be able to take out. I don't know if it's just childhood muscle memory or what, like, maybe I shouldn't be so good at taking them out like that, but... Oh, it's here. No, it's not. Wait, where is it? But I, I just don't hesitate. It's just, yeah, just do it. Just take them out. I need to have a better look around here. Of it. Ah, oh, I paid for it there. Okay, it goes further down. Damn it. I should have just gone with the one. I think it's there. Thank <laughs> you. 
That one was, didn't count. Just bullying this fish into giving you a light sauce. Look, that's gotta hurt. It's not this one, it's the next one. Oh, there's nothing here as well. Oh, maybe it's not even that one. Keeping an eye open. There it is. Got it. Expecting a gotcha here. Simple. Okay. Oh, nice. I get a one up. Pothole panic. Get the deluxe squawks. Right, this shit. <laughs> There's an enemy I, I forgot about. I don't think you can take out these barrels. Yeah, you can't. It's just like a. You can't say these stages are boring. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, uh, yep. That's what we call, um, yep, messing up. Bonus barrel. Where is it? Okay, just making sure it's not there. every animal here. Okay, just checking. Not too low. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> that was good. I avoided the damage. Oh shit. I messed up. There was a bonus stage there, I think. Oh no. I think I'm fucked. This is either going to be very hard or like... Oh, maybe not. Okay. I have to come back. I guess it's fine, I can start and select. I didn't get a single bonus stage, I don't think. Okay, just making sure it wasn't something simple. Part we can kind of just go through. There's not really anything here. On <laughs> God. There we go. Doing that on purpose, I just want to see if there's anything there. Yeah, I don't think I missed anything. That would have to be in the second half of the stage. It's okay. Come back, come back, come back, come back, come back, go back. We're fine. Just making sure it wasn't that. Whoops. Dixie. <laughs> I was right about the bonus stage, it was just in the opposite side. Okay, now this part is don't fuck up. <laughs> I need this. <sighs> fuck. <laughs> That's probably the most annoying part. It's okay, I can, I can do this now at least. Just run through this part. I don't know if it's even possible to get through that without losing. Okay, how about I play the smart and make a platform? Use the spider's mechanic. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is rough. Yeah, I'm not gonna like this one. 
I guess on the plus side, every time I fail, I get 10 bananas. I, I don't know if that sh maybe this shields you? Let's see. It doesn't. It's just straight up. Suffering. to be clever about that one. Shit. Ugh. I think I can still get back up. This one's a little tricky. Okay. Crap. What? How <laughs> did that not work? That should have worked. That should have worked. <sighs> it's hitting it on the head. This one's tricky. I might have better luck with Dixie on this one. This one's kind of annoying. What if I'm ever complicating it? Hmm, okay. Yeah, it despawns. I'll get it. It's just... This one's ugh, a little annoying. I think maybe, maybe a... There we go. Ripey Rumpus. Another rope stage. In case I wasn't sick of them. Worth it. Not worth the risk. Don't know why I did that. Oops. Okay. Oh, just. Yeah, Donkey Kong, but I'm pretty much at the end of today's uh, session. Once I'm done with the boss, I'm done. I've fulfilled my two worlds per, per stream. Watch me not get this the second time. Oh, all right. I'm surprised that worked, to be honest. I'm stuck with this, this dude. Growth Hormone Kong. He 
just has such a stupidly big hitbox. I mean, as long as I can... Just keep doing that, I guess I'm fine. Also, this is a good stage to grind the coins on. Fuck. Ugh. It's so annoying. He's just so massive. Just keep failing the stage and get the coins. Okay. Alright. Okay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Ugh. Got it. Rope stages. This was not good. I kind of skipped a bunch of the stage and I didn't want to do that. Because I'm not sure it had anything. Like it may have had something important, but I'm not sure it did now. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> Damn it. I think that was just a quick way back up. Or a shortcut, or a secret, I don't know. Crap. Oh, this is going to be much harder now. Yeah, I'm not going to bother going for that. I just don't believe that's anything important. Okay. That was gonna be something more sinister. Ah, crap. Ah. 
<sighs> Hitbox Kong. This is nice. Oh, that is kind of cruel. <laughs> ah. Especially now, because if. Wow, I've gotten lucky so far. I haven't had to cross. No. I have no idea what the DK coin is. All right, I'm gonna have to go back. But at least this is done. Okay, where is this coin? Well, to take, I guess it's gonna be like a spot where I have to drop. <laughs> Shit. See, I thought it would have been here. This is just as expected. I have to take some leap of faith here. Okay, it's not here. It's going to be something like this, without question. Good timing. Do I really have to do this for every single... Yep, that. Thought as much. Okay. <laughs> Barbos Barrier. Oh uh, yeah, this boss. How this works. What the fuck? I forgot how this works. Oh, no, wait, wait. No, I remember now. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought you had to jab these things into it. Let me try again. Yeah, it is that. There we go, and then you go, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I 
I think this one's easier to do. Bullshit. Just. Opens up. Wasn't the flower on K3? Hang on. I feel like there was a spot to collect the flower. I can't remember where. It's really chilly out here, you think? It could freeze like a few. No, it's not here. Where is it? It's gotta be in the next one. Hang on. I collect the flower. There's a flower to collect, and then we gotta give that. Look carefully. It might even be the next world. Whoops. I don't see it here. There's a flower to collect somewhere. Oh, wait, there it is. Yeah, that's what I remember, walking into a corner. There it is. Now it's here. It's a bit weird that it's not there to begin with, but there we go. It's just up the road, dude. I'm glad these horrible machines are destroyed. Perhaps my beautiful flowers can start to grow again now. You've got one, a perfect floppirious petalus pongus. Would you let me have it? I'd be ever so grateful. You're too generous, kitty. Here, have this bananas goldus flutterus. Uh, I mean, banana bird. I've finished studying its abilities. Some of them are quite magical, I'll have you know. Okay. That's done. Now, trade quest is up to date. Okay. Good. Yeah, we saved. Okay, well, uh, that's gonna do it for tonight. It's a bit of a short one tonight as um hanging out with a friend and playing some Diablo so I'm gonna go get ready for that but uh yeah I wanted to sink in a little bit of time into Donkey Kong before uh heading off for the evening so yeah thank you for tuning in if you were here for this and I think we'll probably wrap this up tomorrow as it's just the lost world and um the final area if not tomorrow the day after we'll see I'm not sure yet Anyway, if you've made it this far on YouTube, thank you for clicking. I hope you are enjoying this one. And consider clicking more buttons for algorithm purposes. Or, yeah, letting me know if you want to see anything in particular. And I'll give it some consideration. But thank you to those that have been doing that. Uh, it's been helping the channel a lot lately. So, yeah, appreciate it. Alright, chat. Thanks again for watching. I'm going to head off now. Take care. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye, chat.